Man, when I say we got a good show for you this week, I mean we got a great show. We're gonna be having a lot of fun out in Kansas chasing big whitetail bucks. Now we're deer hunting. I'm Paul, man. Two day bandits. <laughs> That's right. The rut is definitely on, at least for these young bucks. That's a pretty crazy way to start the hunt. Now we just need one that's a little bit bigger to come in. We see this doe running in, and we just know a buck's chasing him. Sure enough, it's not a buck, it's the buck. He gets broadside for a second. I didn't really have a great shot, and then he's out of my life for good. So I think. I'm excited, I can shoot a long way now. And I'm gonna have way more of a heads up. Doe right here, buck chasing her. That's it, that's our buck. Oh, that's a mega meat through the rib cage, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I need is gravel, I'm poor as dirt. And I like things better the way they work. Well, I'm strong in the head, but I get things. I spend too much money to have a little fun. Come on. I ain't changing, I'm a stubborn man. So can you love me like I am? Can you love me, baby, like I am? Yeah. Man, when I say we got a good show for you this week, I mean we got a great show. We're gonna be having a lot of fun out in Kansas chasing big whitetail bucks. But it's gonna be a good show, man. We're gonna hunt hard. We got some rainstorms coming. We got all kind of stuff, but I've got a nine foot tall cameraman and a quiver full of arrows. You don't wanna miss Kansas coming at you right now. This is always an exciting time of the year because I'm about to go home for Thanksgiving. So I was really fired up to hunt this week because I knew whatever I got, Whatever I killed, I'm bringing it home to the family. You know, I'm no stranger to hunting in Dorothy's backyard. I've been to Kansas before and had a lot of great success with my buddy Brian Watson and my buddy Rob out there in Lebo, Kansas. I've killed some nice deer. The first deer I killed in Kansas with my buddy Brian was a heck of a buck. Okay, now. And I believe old Rick James was my first, maybe my first monster bucks appearance. Which if you're a redneck, that's kind of a big deal. Not to mention the big buck that I shot with my 308 a couple years ago with Lucas. I brought home a lot of antlers and a lot of deer meat from Kansas. We've been having a ball out there. So a business partner of mine said, hey, if you want to mix things up a little bit this year, you ought to check Seth McGinn's place out. He runs Midwest Whitetail Adventures, and this place is super nice. Well, I just pulled into uh, Midwest Whitetails. First time ever hunting here. Pretty excited about it. Uncle Marv, I'll be pulling in. There, there he is. There's a, there's What's a going little... on, buddy? Up, good buddy? to see you, man. Up, man. Holy. Had a continental breakfast this morning at a good old Holiday Inn, and mm. now we're deer hunting. I'm Paul, man. Two-day bandits, <laughs> That's right. I was outside listening to Careless Whisper in the dark, smoking a cigar, and I just realized what a privilege it is to be here in Kansas with the tallest cameraman in the game, Uncle Marv. What are you doing, Moth? Harry, are you wearing aftershave? It's kerosene, the rope's soaked in it. <laughs> Why would somebody soak a rope in kerosene? <laughs> I'm all about the one-day bands. Well, first morning in Kansas, we find ourselves in a beautiful little cedar tree, which is one of my favorite places to hunt. Start the hunt. Hot dog, young 
times that that buck must have snorweezed six times. That was cool. Now we just need one that's a little bit bigger to come in. The rut is definitely on, at least for these young bucks, and if this is any indication, we're gonna have a pretty action-packed week out here in Kansas. Limit Shield eliminates human odor using nanotechnology. What if it becomes self-aware and no, takes over the world? No, 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 that's just how it eliminates odor at the molecular level. <laughs> Tell that to Sarah Connor. Who? Terminator, iRobot, The Matrix. Just gets rid of the odor from the dead skin cells. It's got aloe in it. If you want great results in anything, form is critical. Go long, son. And taxidermy is no different. That's why the only form I use comes from Ohio Taxidermy Supply. Pretty sweet looking albino doe. I wonder how she lost her ears. So there was one area that me and Jim talked about getting into and we were waiting for the wind to be right and it looks like for this morning's hunt, it's gonna be on. All right, man, it's the morning and day two. I'm ready to kill something. This has been a good hunt. We've seen deer both sets yesterday. We saw deer all day. We just need to see a big shooter buck in bow range. Obviously, that's what we're looking for. You know, we might we might sit all day. I don't know, depending on what the wind's gonna do. But we're gonna try some calling and different things. It's been kind of a quiet morning. Hopefully, this is like a mid-morning spot. This is the perfect rut spot. I mean, there's good CRP in front of us. We're out in some big timber and anything could run by at any minute. Later on in the day, we see this doe running in and we just know a buck's chasing it. Sure enough, it's not a buck, it's the buck. This is the kind of buck I came to Kansas to kill. You know, it happened a lot faster than it looks in the high-speed camera, but he came in there, he's chasing her at 50 yards, he gets broadside for a second, I didn't really have a great shot, and then he's out of my life for good. So I think. So I'm sitting down right here, it's wide open to him where he was. But once I stood up, got my bow, and she turned. She turned and went that way. I had to really like weave it through there. You don't want to be weaving and ducking at 50 yards, you know, 45, 50 yards. Oh man, what a freaking good buck though. Dang. I'm just praying that this big buck chases that doe back by us. I mean, it's the rut, anything can happen. They're off in the distance chasing. Some more bucks get in the chase. They jump up more does. It's just a, a tornado of rut activity. They're over to our right and then they're to the left of us. They're running through the field on the way in to the stand. I mean, it's on fire right now. I just wish we could get in a little bit more of a high tree stand or move our position slightly, but we're gonna hunt this spot. We're not giving up on this buck. We will be back in this area, but they're calling for crazy winds and torrential downpours. So the plan for the next morning is to hunt this box blind and then come out while it's still raining, hang a set of summits and get in them so right when the rain breaks they're calling for a break in the rain that's when it should really be jumping off in this spot that next morning was pretty slow we saw one buck so lucas and i hustled in there in the rain the rain's just starting to break and we're hanging this set of summit tree stands all right so we were having problems yesterday with deer 
The ladder stand is so low for two people. The ladder that they already had hung, the does were looking up in the tree, like, seeing us, you know. So we got some summit sticks, a summit dual axis lock on, and we're gonna hang a double set right here on this tree, which is where the doe was standing yesterday when the buck came up and chased her away. And the idea is to get higher. That ladder stand's only like 16 or 18, and it's down in the bottom, so all the deer that are coming out on these higher tops are like eye level with this ladder stand. So, see if we can make a change of fool. You do exist. Nah, I'm good, man. I don't eat that processed stuff. Mm -hmm. I only eat carnivore snacks made with salt and meat. And it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Hang on one second. It's blurry. How come you... Hey! SKB cases are so tough, you'll be tougher just by owning one. Hit me with that shovel. I don't think that's... Just do it! Okay. All right, we gotta do it again. Oh, your face. I didn't mean in the face. Oh, babe. What? We're missing some teeth. I like this spot a lot better. We, uh, we brought this summit dual axis in here, hung this set right beside the, the set that Jim had hung over there. The problem was we were too low down in this dip. All the deer were kind of looking at us. We saw a shooter in the daylight yesterday, watched him for like two hours or something. I'm excited, I can shoot a long way now. And I'm gonna have way more of a heads up and the deer are not gonna see us, so it's gonna be good. I get settled into the stand, get a few ranges, and there's deer running to the tree stand. Doe right here, buck chasing her. There's a buck chasing her. That's our, that's it, that's our buck. That's him, man. That's him. And sure enough, it's the big 10 with the short twos. This is a hammer of a deer. This deer is standing there quartering to me at 35 yards, and that's not a shot that I want to take. I mean, a top pin quarter and two shot is one thing, but when you start getting out there closer to 40 yards, quarter and two is never a good idea. So I'm just waiting, man. I'm being patient. I need this deer to turn. I'm about to come apart. And our wind is super sketchy. I mean, it's, it's quartering kind of right into the direction where they came from, but it's not quite blowing right at them yet. I'm sitting there for what seemed like forever, man. I was sweating more than Stephen Hawking at a little person's math convention. Slipped it right in the third rib from the back. We're not gonna get too crazy right now, but he's, that's a big buck, buddy. Oh, that's 
to make a meat through the rib cage, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Blood everywhere. Did you see it out of both sides? My man. My man. Double lunger, baby. Man. I want I want to celebrate, but I don't want to just. I want to wait a, like a good hour and then we'll go look at blood and stuff. Because he was, I mean, in the run, you gotta be ready to shoot, son. He was, he was leaving. I smoked him at 30 yards of running, quartering away. You ducked it so good, buddy. I saw the hit on my. Oh! I was aiming for a bit of viewfinder and I'm like, oh. I'm gonna hit him where I did him. So this buck wouldn't stop, but I felt confident in my lead. I had it rock solid right on him, 35 yards, slipped it right in the middle of his rib cage, and it was all over but to fall in at that point. All right, here you are, Mr. Campbell. It took me just two weeks. What is this? It's a new semi non-binary. Did you bedazzle his eye? Yes, and that's an upcharge. Thanks. You wouldn't trust your trophy to an amateur, so why hang it like one? Get a full range hanging system. These Vortex lenses are 100% blood diamonds. No, they're not. Oh man, look at that red tail hawk on Jupiter. What? With Vortex, you can see the game warden before he sees you. Are you serious Cut again? The off. I don't know whose property this is, man. We gotta get out of here. He finally turns and gets broadsided just over 30 yards, and I try to stop him. I was confident he was still well within bow range. He's walking. I get my lead. He's hard quartering away, but I know I can get him and I turn an arrow loose. There's no doubt on this one that the Hoyt has found its mark because blood starts shooting out of both sides of this deer. He's crashing, running toward that CRP. On top of the world, can't even describe it. If you're not a bow hunter, I highly recommend it. There's nothing quite like it. I smoked him at 30 yards, running quarter in the way. We know this deer didn't go far, so we hustle on the blood trail, and really it's not that hard to follow. It's coming up on an hour. By the time we get over here and get the arrow and look at the first blood, it's gonna be close to an hour since I shot. Now it looked perfect, but anytime a deer's moving or quartering or anything like that, you wanna give them just a little bit. Even though there's blood spewing out of both sides of them, which is a good sign. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh man, there's blood all over that tree. Man. They don't get no prettier than that. Zero gut smell. Cause that front shoulder, I think washed it clean when it went through. That's, that's a pretty sight. That rain's washing it away pretty fast. Pretty pretty. Can you see him? Can you see him? Not oh, bad. Oh my gosh, man. Holy cow. That's him. Oh, look at the exit, Mark. You were right. Could have been better. Look at that rascal right there. That's a hammer. That's a hammer, man. What you think, Mark? <laughs> How cool is that? Look at this, man. Look at the size of this deer. <laughs> what a hunt, man. That, that hunt was incredible. I mean, this, this hunt was everything you would want from a Kansas rut. I mean, you can, ask, you can ask Lucas. It was crazy. I mean, you guys saw it, but I couldn't believe it because Lucas and I just hung the stand, just hung the stand just to get a little advantage, get a little higher with the summit instead of Instead of being low to where we were in their eye line, their line of sight when they would come up over those little rises, they were looking right at that ladder stand just because it was down in the bottom. So we, we rehung, got up in it, sat there about five minutes, literally just got settled in, just put my bow on the hanger, sat down, took a deep breath, was looking around, and burp, 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 and I heard them heavy footprints, and here comes this doe. Unbelievable. What a freaking, come look at this, Lucas, come here with the camera. Look at that freaking, there's your exit. And that came dead center through the shoulder. He was actually like physically turned and was running away and I just tucked it right in there. Man. 
Been a pretty good shot on the old boy. What a deer, man. <laughs> what a deer. Yes, sir, baby, not only did we kill a giant buck this week, but it's my ticket home. My favorite thing in the world is coming back in off the road to see my kids and my wife. It's gonna be Thanksgiving. We're gonna have a big old party, and I guarantee you, turkey is not gonna be the only thing on the menu this Thanksgiving. And as always, don't forget to stop by the online store on your way out. It's our backup plan for keeping the lights on when everybody cancels us and we get demonetized every which way for saying a bunch of offensive stuff that we wanna keep on saying so we can entertain you. See how that all works? Love you guys. We'll see you next week.